Hi, welcome to Advanced PLCs. My name is Professor Murray. You can call me Paul. Uh, you can also call me Dr. Murray if you want, but I prefer Paul. This semester is going to be a little different from in the past. With COVID-19 upsetting all our lives, we have to do a lot of things different. This semester, at least the plan right now, is that we're going to do a hybrid class. That means that all the lectures are going to be online and the lab times are going to be here in the lab and it's going to be small groups. We're going to split the classes into two or three groups and people will be able to come in and do their lab work with the hands-on PLC. That's the plan for now. Let's take a look at what we're, what we're doing here. I think most of you are familiar with this lab, the Sim Lab, but let me show you a few things that we're going to be dealing with. First of all, let's start with Canvas. Here's our Canvas shell. It's B58 Advanced PLC Programming, and when you open Canvas, this is the first thing you're going to see. And you notice here it says start here, so hopefully you'll start there and that'll actually take you to this video. There's a little bit about myself, a link to announcements, and some other resources. And then these are all just quick links to each of the modules. I recommend that you use Canvas based on the modules. You can look at assignments and that gives you kind of another look at the modules. And my connection is slow. So here's all the different assignments and the breakdown of grades. You notice midterm and final are worth 20%. Uh, participation is worth 10%. But let's go back home and we'll just click on introduction. And that's where we start. At the start of every unit is an outline. So you can click on that and that gives you some information on readings and things to do. So different resources tells you what you need to be reading or watching. The to-do list, that tells you what you have to do during this lesson. Then we have our learning objectives, what we're trying to accomplish. And I also link to the SLOs, the Student Learning Outcomes. And that's what links into our, our course curriculum. All right, let's go back. So that's an outline. Then the resources are all here. So here's a link of Meet Your Professor. That's me. That just uh, is a short video talking about myself, telling you my history. And then there's a link to resources that you need for this section. And then there's all your to-do items. There's discussions, quizzes, homework, that kind of thing. And then we'll, we'll quickly get through Unit 1 and get into Unit 2 and start using the PLCs. Alright, so let's look at what we have here. We've got a few different components. The first is, I'll turn this guy on, we're not using the Slick 500s anymore, we're using the Control Logics. The Control Logics is the most advanced PLC used in industry. So that's the latest and greatest. We've got control logics here, and on this computer, if you can see it, I've got Studio 5000 pulled up. And Studio 5000 is what we're going to use for doing all our programming. We're going to do a little bit with ladder logic, and then we're going to jump into some more advanced languages. You'll, you'll enjoy them, believe me. All right, so we've got our Studio 5000 here. Then over here, we've got our simulator for simulating the real world. And as you probably know, we've got lots of buttons. Each button is a light. And we've got switches, and we've got a little bit of analog and a couple motors. So there's a little bit that we can play with here, but really it's not much. And it gets kind of kind of tedious to just use this simulator. 
So we start with that, but then we want to get into some more interesting stuff. And to do that, we've got factory I.O. And that's up on this screen. You notice with factory I.O., we've got buttons and lights, we've got analog stuff, but we also have conveyors and we've got loaders and unloaders and we've got a bunch of different stuff that we can do. Now the factory I.O. talks to the PLC, so it works just like a real life factory. And of course the trainer talks to the PLC. That means we have two different kinds of inputs in the lab that we can use for doing our simulations. Those are the main components of the course that you need to be uh, using and becoming familiar with. The first is Canvas. We use Canvas for all of our communication. All of your assignments and all of your labs will be submitted on Canvas. So everything's done online with that. All the lectures will be linked from Canvas. I post the videos on YouTube because it's a little bit more reliable, but the links are all on Canvas. We're using Studio 5000 for our programming, we're using Factory I.O. for our simulation, and we're using a little bit of the physical control buttons for our simulation. Now there's a few things that you can do to make your learning experience a little smoother and, and more efficient. And first is you need a, a decent computer at home. If you don't have a Windows PC, you really need to get a hold of one. If you can't afford one, the, uh, the student pantry, part of student life, they have laptop loaners, they have financial aid for buying laptops. I know that the bookstore purchased, they told, they told us that they purchased a mountain of laptops that they were going to sell at discounted prices. I don't know what the prices are, but there's a bunch of different options. But you do need a decent uh, Windows-based laptop. Macintosh is not going to really do it for you. And the reason for that is we're going to use Factory I.O. And you can get a download for free. And I'll post the information on how to download that. And we also might be able to get uh, Studio 5000 with an emulator for download. Now the Factory I.O., it's a nice small program, it's not a big deal to install, and it also has its own built-in PLC simulator that we might use a little bit. Studio 5000 is a big program, and it takes a fair bit of disk space to, to install it, so like I say, you need a decent laptop to do the course. Alright, so again, my name is Paul, and welcome to the course, and I look forward to meeting all of you. Thanks.